Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. We're on the Shropshire Union Canal and I'm just leaving the village of Nosal and in this video I shall be heading north to Norbury Junction where I'll stop and get water and a few extra bits and then I shall carry on to Bridge 42 which is by the Anchor Pub. Now in the last video I mentioned there was something a bit unusual about that bridge up ahead. It's bridge number 35A and it's a disused railway line which has been converted into like a cycleway footpath type thing and it's very pleasant. Um, if you go right from here it'll take you all the way to Stafford and if you go left it'll take you all the way down to Newport. That's Newport Shropshire not Newport in Wales. This is really handy if you've got a bike because it's about five miles to get to Newport but when you get down to the end of the cycle track you get to a very busy main road and then immediately opposite you there's some discount supermarkets such as Lidl, Aldi and there's a home bargain store as well. These are on the outskirts of uh, Newport. The actual town centre is a little bit further on. If you haven't got a bike well it's a bit too far to go but it's still a very nice walk up there. Well worth a try. I didn't go in the uh, Stafford direction so I can't really tell you about that. You can access that path from the other side of this bridge. There's the steps over on the left. And here we have even more visitor moorings. There are some very nice views if you can find a gap in the trees. Unfortunately the weather wasn't too wonderful again today. This photo was taken on a different day.
here are some CRT working boats not working as you can see um, I don't think they're very old We're now heading on to a long embankment and this lock type gate here is used to close off this section of the canal if necessary. Also on the left there you can see that fence. Well, there's a road, a little country lane that goes underneath the canal at this point. You'll miss it from the canal but there it is. There's another one a bit further on as well. We're now approaching Norbury Junction. That fence on the left indicates that this is another aqueduct over a country lane. The visitor moorings start on the left here. They've noticed they've built the path out a little bit to get rid of that ledge, the concrete ledge that causes problems for moorers. So it's good mooring along there. The boats on the right are all permanent long-term moorers. I decided to moor up here for lunch and to uh, empty the loo and get rid of some rubbish and then I carried on my journey a short time later. So here we go, Norbury Junction is just up ahead. To be honest it's not really a junction anymore, it just used to be because the Shropshire Union Canal just carries straight on through and there's now a disused arm which is just used for boat moorings but it used to go to Newport years ago. Now there tends to be quite a lot of activity in this place, you do need to boat carefully. The CRT boaters facilities are immediately over there on the left, you can see where those white bollards are, that's where you would moor up for them. There's water, LSAN and rubbish disposal here. That archway on the left is the Newport arm, which is just used for uh, boat moorings now. It doesn't go on very far. And of course the main canal carries straight on, and we've got a boat yard on the right. And also here on the left we have a pub, so it tends to be quite a popular little place. On the other side of this bridge we have visitor moorings on the left and long-term permanent moorings on the right. Now these both go on for quite a long way so you do need to be very careful boating through here because you've got boats each side of you. Um, can be quite tricky if it's busy or if it's windy. And if it's busy and windy, well that doesn't bear thinking about does it?
Here we are in yet another long wooded cutting. There's so many of these on the shroppy. They're really nice though. And approaching now a very well known bridge. This is bridge number 39, High Bridge. And it's quite unusual because it's got a, a telegraph pole in the upper arch. Now, as this cutting does go on for quite a long way, I'll take this opportunity to play you some new music that I recently recorded. Many viewers have asked for a bit more guitar music, so hope you like it. Well, that lovely green cutting finally came to an end, and now I'm trying to decide where I'm going to moor up. That's bridge 42, anchor bridge up ahead. 
and the building on the left that's the anchor pub so anywhere along here would be good but I think I'm going to moor up on the other side of the bridge it's amazing that this pub survives really it's in the middle of nowhere it's just a quiet country lane leading to it um, and the canal that's all it's got there must be some very devoted locals who keep it going Here are a few free of charge ways where you could help my channel to grow. I'd very much appreciate it if you could, because any of these actions will help to raise my channel's profile in a positive way, and that means that YouTube will promote it more. Anyway, that's far enough for today. Now, of course, it's time to let the cats out. Thank you very much for watching. The journey will continue, of course, in the next video. So until then, I'll see you next time.